Okay, this is Saturday, May 28th. We're going to have a discussion with the contractor because he's out of money for his budget. And I'll let Ruby handle the discussions. One of our theories was his payroll increased and the crew size never did go up according to the payroll and he had started two other jobs one of them's the one across next door neighbor because I see the crew that was working here working there and then another job and at the time his payroll increased he started those jobs so in theory we think that he's just taking the money and using it to pay the other crews because the other clients have not paid him so we're going to have this discussion today it just seems fishy but one thing we've noticed is they can't build houses square at all he had told us, if you follow this line on the floor, you can see that it's not square at all. So he said the existing wall wasn't square, so he just followed that when he should have told us. And we would have said, tear it down, because we tore every other wall down. And then it goes out here and continues all the way over here. Then on the front, which is all a new wall, same thing happens. It starts off good, and then it goes and it gets wider and wider and wider. And in the corner, the tile gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So nothing you can do. Nothing structurally wrong, it's just unsightly, but really who's gonna notice? Um, he's already bailed out on some of the work he's agreed to do, like finishing the doors. So we're gonna have a discussion with him today. What remains, what's per the contract? And he was gonna do the fence, or included, but now he wants us to pay for the fence and that's fine. We will pay for the fence. And notice their fans, no guards. They just turn them on and off. And the guy's working in here, standing. Hello. Hello. Getting ready for paint. But the tile still needs grout and we still need the window installed. But the floor is in, all the drains are in. Interesting though, they, up there is where the exhaust fan goes, but yet they don't run it before they sheet rock, they run it after when generally you install the exhaust fan because it's a pain in the ass. And then you run your sheet rock. They do things totally backwards here, totally backwards. Just for instance, another example is on the tile. You let the tile workers do their job, they get out of the way, they grout everything, and then you finish. Tile's one of the last things you do. But here, there's no grout, and they're trampling dirt in the cracks, and they gotta clean them all out. Here's an example right here. Cause you gotta have them perfectly clean, so when you grout it, um, the extension here for the covered porch or balcony, that's all extra. And we're thinking Ruby wants it sheetrock covered. Well, I just cared if it was just painted black up there, but if they're gonna sheetrock it, that's fine too. But that's an additional cost and Ruby has a hard time understanding this, but it is all additional. This didn't have any cover at all. And now we do. So, 
that is additional scope, just like extending the back wall. Generally, I think it would have stopped about right here. So we extended it from here to here. This is an additional cost. And you just have to understand that, but now you can't discount that they're inefficient as heck. Like one example is when they were running the, I'm going downstairs now, when they're running the, when they finished the inside and the construction of all the block, and before they started finishing it, they should have ran every piece of electrical, every piece that you could because they keep going back and they keep chipping in the holes everywhere. Everywhere, all the time. Just like here's an example. The door opens to the light switch. So I told them put in a three way, but I wanted them just to run it to this switch. But no, they chisel out a whole new run and put in a separate one. All this stuff is double work. And if you would have done all your electrical before, when they had the walls roughed in, you would have saved so much time and money. Like here's another one right here. I have no idea what this is for. No idea. But the ceiling's done. A hole for the closet and our countertop guys, which is a separate contract, is installing the granite countertops, getting ready to cut the holes for the sink and the stove top. But yet they still haven't put the brace on underneath, which we were told they would. Because the countertop broke right here. And this is as far as they got with the cabinets. When I mean, generally the cabinet the countertop's the last thing you do, but not here. And inside the cabinets, it's gonna be a tile floor is your bottom, if you can see. There, so it's going to be tile, tile. So you'll have a tile floor instead of a piece of wood like we would normally do. And again, this floor is finished, but it hasn't been grouted in. So all this dirt is getting in the cracks that they have to clean out. And the staircase is being done. But again, you would have sanded all that wood down before you put it in, so you don't have to sand it in place. Another, another one. But basically, it's just there's just tremendous inefficiencies that go on. But this is normal construction, so there's nothing odd to them about it. But to me, it's just killing me. It's killing me. Now these canopies are here and here, but we were told there's nothing up here, which I thought there was, but it just helps keep the water off the windows. I do like them. I think they look good, actually. And here's gonna be covered out to here, so this still has to be done. Uh, I'll show you from another angle. So, the roof extension comes out to here and we'll cement all this into the fence all the way over to where the guy is and the cement stops here and all this will be grass and there's another canopy I do like the canopies they look cool that's our contractor so Ruby's screaming his ass right now <laughs> FBI right there FBI warned pull your mask down so this is the electrical and here we're going to run fill dirt up to here and then on top of this concrete oh, down there. fill dirt to here concrete to here 
And then all this is cemented in, all the way from over there to over here. And the rest of this will be grass for the dogs. And Ruby wants to be a gardener now. But the cement will run this way. And all the way to the back door. So all this will be cement all the way back here. All the way back over to there, that fence. And the fence will be extended up this high. So, and they don't have their water main ran yet. So they got to run the water main. And I'm walking around. And my hot water heater is going to go out here by the washing machine, which will be here. And my water, hot water heater will be in here somewhere. So anyway, there's still a lot of work to do. Um, she's hashing it out. And we do owe extra for the extra work. Ruby doesn't like it, but it is what it is. I can't do anything for any efficiency because I took a hands-off approach to this. And of course it will kill me. It will kill me in the end. You see, this is my crew that used to be working on my house and now they're working here. There's the neighbor kids, dogs. That is the daughter Moana over there in the background and her friend. And there they are cooking their lunch. Okay, there we go. End of video.